Hello everyone. This is a uh, Mopar battery, a reproduction battery I bought about five years ago. After the second year, it was dead. Wouldn't take a charge no more. So I gave it up for dead. I figured I was just gonna gut it out and use it as a uh, use it as a prop over a good battery. So I drained all the battery acid out and let it sit for about three, four years, whatever. Until someone told me about this extreme charger. It's a pulsating thing, it desulfates the battery. This one's an older model. There's new ones available. I said, you know what? Let me give it a try. Because here's a battery that wouldn't take a charge anymore and it always dies. But it'll start up with a boost. But no matter what kind of charger I use, even though it shows 100%, it just doesn't hold the charge. So I used that, I put fresh acid on this one because I had drained it out previously and I put this on. There's a nice little system here. Okay, positive, negative, clamp. Just hook it up there. Of course it showed a dead battery at first. So what you have to do is you have to excite it a little bit. So I put a little charge on it for about five, 10 minutes and then hooked this up and I went straight to charging and it stayed dead, no lights. But after about a week, it went to 25, 50, 75, to 100. And after I hit 100, I let it stay on there for another two to three days just to make sure all the sulfates and everything is done. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little load test on it right now with my Milton load test. I'm gonna see what happens. So here's positive. Here's my negative. Let's see what it says so far. So far it shows 13 volts. We'll put a little load test on and we'll see if the battery is good. All right, cross my fingers. Like I said, it's been dormant for about five years, this battery. Let's try it. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. It shows right there where it says bad and weak. So what I'm gonna do is put it back on the charge for a little bit longer. And we'll see what happens.